West of Dead is a 360 cover shooter set in a weird wild west. You play our flaming headed hero, voiced by Ron Perlman, who is tasked with cleaning up the land of the dead, the purgatory. West of Dead draws inspiration from both twin stick and cover shooters, roguelites and modern horror comics. We like to call West of Dead a 360 cover shooter, which combines the immediacy of twin stick and the tactics of cover shooting. In West of Dead, cover and light are your friends, so positioning and planning is just as important as a steady aim and sharp reflexes. The world of purgatory is always changing. In between deaths, the world is reassembled with a new host of firearms, abilities and enemies to find and deal with. You'll explore strange places, fight scary creatures, rescue lost souls, and hunt down procedurally generated outlaws that will test your skills. And, if you fail to defeat them, we'll remember you for the next time. No Man's Sky is a game about exploration, allowing players to explore an infinite procedurally generated open world universe players can seamlessly travel from planet to planet. It's a vibrant, strange, and dangerous universe to explore alone or with friends. No Man's Sky is a big game, but it's built by a very small indie team. Originally developed by a handful of friends, the team to this day is uniquely small, with so much of what you see generated by computer as you play. At its core, it's a game about survival on undiscovered worlds. But with 10 major free updates since the game's original launch, it has grown massively over the years. Today, you are just as likely to find members of the large but welcoming community colonizing planets and building elaborate bases, or joining together with friends on any gaming system to venture into the far reaches of the universe together with all new crossplay. No Man's Sky will continue to grow and expand for the foreseeable future and evolve around the players. We're excited to welcome the Game Pass community to the infinite freedom of No Man's Sky. This is Moving Out. It's a co-op game where you race against the clock to move everything into a truck any way you can. There's no rules, you don't lose points for breaking things, it's just about moving fast and having fun. We actually tuned the game for fun and stayed focused on that to make many of our design decisions easier. We actually played around with a point system early on, but we found it altered the way that players played. If we gave players points for not breaking things and they played it too safe and it was boring, if we gave you points for breaking things, then it kind of made the goal of moving less relevant. By focusing on time alone and not penalizing you for doing damage, it actually encourages a more fun way to play. We also set the game in the 1980s, which in case you're wondering, is the most fun decade. Look it up. And there's multiple ways to complete each level. And we've added bonus objectives in each level to unlock even more surprises. So if you like fun and having fun with others, be sure to check out Moving Out Today I'm thrilled to tell you about Levelhead. It's our upcoming platformer maker that'll transform you into what your parents always hoped and feared you'd become, a level designer. The platforming is tight, the power-ups, they let you punch stuff, teleport through walls, and shoot a face out of your face. And the level editor allows you to do things you've never seen in other platformer makers. Things like making giant multi-selection stamps to copy and paste, or set up programmable switches that make your levels truly come alive. One of our favorite things about Levelhead is that you don't have to already be famous to get your levels played. We've created a play exchange that lets you collect hundreds or thousands of plays, no matter who you are. And the best part is, Levelhead is coming not just to the Xbox on launch day, but to Xbox Game Pass. With Levelhead, we wanted to bring everyone together, just not in person, because coronavirus. Remember, wash those hands and don't touch that beautiful face. This is Machinarium, a traditional point-and-click adventure based on distinct art style and puzzle-solving gameplay. The game tells the story of Josef, a little robot who's been thrown away and has to find his way back to the city and rescue his friend. Our goal was to make the environment feel organic, alive and tangible. This new version included in Xbox Game Pass for PC comes with a new engine, which brings support for modern high resolution displays and allows you to play using a controller. We really hope that you will enjoy Machinarium's many challenges and that you will have a nice day in our little robotic universe. Crosscode is an action RPG in the vein of the good old classic JRPGs you love to play in your childhood. 
Think of Zelda crossed with Secret of Mana. These were our inspirations from the very beginning, eight years ago when development started. Prepare yourself for a huge world filled up with over 120 enemy types, more than 30 boss fights, and more than 100 quests in seven unique settings. Slip into the role of Leia who lost her memory and try to help her figure out what has happened. Meet others in the fictional MMO world, Crossworlds, and experience an emotional story about friendship and the meaning of life. And never forget to say hi. Crosscode was developed with a custom HTML5 engine and bringing it to Xbox One was one of the hardest challenges we've ever faced. But we're incredibly proud to announce that finally this summer, Crosscode will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. Deliver Us The Moon is a game set 60 years from now. We have liftoff! It's a sci-fi thriller that is about a energy crisis that happened and a source on the moon provides Earth for uh, energy from helium-3. There was a huge blackout and you are the last astronaut that is going to find out what happened on the moon. In Deliver Us the Moon, there are explorations to be done in large moon bases. You can puzzle your way through certain areas, think about environmental hazards or uh, drive the moon landscape. Traveling by foot would be suicide. Or even float in zero-g in a space station. 